Hello, hello, hello. As promised, I have the tutorial for the, the Grand Piano easel card. So that's all I'm gonna cover today and I've got some little goodies at the end that I'll talk about. Um, so first off, I'm Dawn Olszewski. I'm a Stampin' Up, uh, Stampin Up demonstrator also known as Do Stamping. Um, my blog is DoStampingWithDawn.com and I've been a demonstrator for um, almost 17 years. In March it'll be 17 years. And the easel card um, that I'm going to talk about with the grand piano came from one of my samples that I shared at the onstage in Atlanta using my Million Sales Achiever stamp set Music from the Heart. So a few weeks ago I shared um, kind of my story behind the stamp set and so if you want to see that, um, that was on um, Facebook. Just go to my um, Facebook page, Do Stamping with Dawn and then you'll find um, also my um, videos. Click on the videos and you'll find that there. All right. So, um, just a little housekeeping, um, say hi, where you're from. I like to see where people are from. Um, let's see. Oh, and if you want to share the video, you're more than happy. Um, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I think I'm going to get started. So this is the card. So if you haven't seen it, it lays flat first like this has a little of the stamping of the piano keys in the front. And then it has some a little decorative pieces here as well. And so it's a cue card, but of course, as, as an easel card, when you open it up, you've got your piano keys and your little um, sentiment. So I'll push, there you go. So you can see it's kind of the shape of a grand piano. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, I do have instructions, so eventually this will get posted on my blog. Um, next week I will have um, the PDF for the instructions, but I'm going to talk about that today. So if you need to make it right away, that's fine. You'll get everything you need today, um, but otherwise the, um, it'll come up next week. All right? All right, so all right, here we go. And... And this is what the instructions are going to look like, except I'm going, to mod I'm going to give you a little bit more. This is mainly the measurements of the card, okay? So I'm going to modify this after I'm done. I'll include a photo, and I'll include a few more step-by-steps in it, all right? But let's get started on the measurements. So the first thing that you're going to need is a piece of Whisper White, um, thick. So this is the thick cardstock and it is five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter which is normal and then it's also scored at two and one eighth and that's how we get that special fold to make an easel card. So I'll show you. So I'm going to fold it in half here. Okay. And then this is going to get folded like that, and that's the easel part of it. And we're going to create something here that this kind of kind of hooks into to make it stand up as an easel card. All right. So that's the first thing. The next thing is you need some Whisper White. Just is the regular weight. Um, we're going to do piano keys, and those are measured two inches by a half inch. So that's what these are. I have 10 of them laying out here. So they are ready to go. All right. And then we need um, what I call the sentiment um, piece. So let me, and that's, that's this piece here that you could put anything you want on there. I've um, already pre-stamped mine, You're the Music in the, My Heart. And then I've also stamped the separate image of, of that heart note but you could put um, some music lines there instead and um, add more of your sentiment maybe inside the card. So let me talk a little bit about the sentiment piece here. So it measures 
two and three quarters inches this way by three inches this way, and it scored one inch up from the bottom. All right, so that's how that piece is. We'll set that aside. And then um, I'm gonna talk about this piece last, even though it says um, it's the first piece here. It's the basic black, I'm moving on to that. So I'm gonna talk about the piano board, the keyboard itself measures two and one eighth by five and three eighths, all right? And so the, those keys are gonna go on there. And then for the black keys, um, let's see, here's this. Here's what I recommend. This is a great tip actually for this to make the black keys. So, you know, sometimes when you're cutting smaller pieces, that's a little time consuming. Um, and so this is an easy little tip. So what you want to do is you want to start with a one and one quarter inch strip of black paper, black cardstock. So that's what I have. So this measures one and a quarter. It can be any length that you want because what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the classic label punch. And so long as it's in there straight, um, that your edges are parallel, I should say, you're gonna get exactly what you're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think we need seven. I'm just gonna punch seven real quick here. So we're gonna get these little end pieces also that aren't gonna work because they are just pop popping off the end here. I think we're at, this is six, and one more. So see how easy that is? Really slick. And pop out as many of the black keys as you need or want there. Okay, so I think we're gonna step back here. So I think for a minute here, I'm just gonna kind of lay this here for those of you who want to just kind of um, look at the measurements. I'll show it again at the end for people who are kind of checking in late. So I'll give you a second to do that. But boy, while I'm, while I'm leaving that there for you guys, I am been overwhelmed, wonderfully overwhelmed with the response from all of my samples, uh, particularly a handful of them, um, that you guys have really, really enjoyed. Um, and this one in particular has been like over the top, um, just well received. So thank you. I really am happy that you guys are enjoying this and that music from the heart stamp set is touching your heart. So that makes me really happy. All right, so let's start to think about how we're gonna put this together. So this piece here, you are gonna start with uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's a quarter sheet of a cardstock, okay? And this is how it's gonna look before it's cut. I just left all this together. So I'm gonna walk you through how to get it kind of right in the corner there. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm using the largest stitched shapes oval, and we're gonna cut that curve out of the corner and so we're positioning it, um, position the bottom left of the oval die in the upper right corner, all right, just like this. So to think about this, let's see, let me get my ruler. I had to think about the positioning on the card. Excuse me, my ruler is not cooperating. Here we go and where certain things were gonna lie. So think about this. First of all, when the card is shut, I wanted to make sure that you can, can you kind of see where this ends here? I didn't want this area to go past the fold of the easel card, okay? So that was one consideration. I also know that my image for the piano keys is only so long, so I didn't want it to go past that either. So that's some things that I thought through in putting, the, um, kind of designing this card, all right? Now you know my thought process. I don't know if that helps or confuses. 
So I did kind of measure out and on the instructions it's gonna say, so at the top edge, so at this top edge, we're gonna go in one and three quarters inch from the left, okay? And then on the right side, you can go in down two inches. So I already pre-marked that. You probably can't see it on here, but I have a little tick mark right there, and I had one right here too. So that's how far. So the only kind of um, thing to consider is that you gotta know where your, your, um, your die actually cuts. So it's, it's not it's gonna cut on this edge, it's gonna cut in about an um, eighth of an inch. So consider that when you're doing that. And then all I have to do is get out my paper snips because I don't want this kind of scoopy um, sort of thing going on. I want it a little more flat. See how I got that flat? All I did was take my paper snips and kind of hook it down into this corner to get it flat. Really easy to do, um, but how nice is that? We already have essentially some products to make our easel card. Yes, I was excited about that. So there we go. We're gonna set that aside now. So now you know how to make the, the grand piano shape. Now what I wanna do is I want to do some stamping. And so if you think about it, like I showed earlier, this is eventually gonna go on our card just at the bottom here. And so I wanted the stamping to come in through here. So we're gonna use our piano keys. And get that inked up really good. Okay, and the easiest way I found to do this is just start at the top and I actually had it coming off just a little bit because I wanted it to make sure I was covering the entire thing. And then just keep stamping. Just keep lining it up. And we'll just keep going down. Isn't that cute? Really easy to do too. We'll get one more in here. So you probably can't see, but here's my score line, but I'm gonna go past it for the stamping so that um, so that when it folds, it's still you still have that little piece there. All right, because of the way this curves, you wanna do that. All right, let me put my ink away. All right, so we can go ahead and actually assemble the front of our card. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna put adhesive just on this panel right here. All right, and because it's um, kind of more of a 3D, we kind of need it to stick really well. So I'm gonna give it lots of adhesive. I'm not gonna be bashful, I want it to stay. But I don't wanna go past that line there. I think we did pretty good. All right. And the easiest way to do this is just to have it all folded flat. And there we go. And then just kind of give it a good rubbing here. All right, and there, there we have the basis of our card, basically. That's, the, um, and now we're gonna do that decorating. We're gonna create the, um, we're gonna create the keyboard, okay. All right, so we've got our 10 pieces of white keys. And what I like to do is, where's my snail adhesive? Here we go. I just want to put, I'm going to start by just putting a little bit of snail adhesive near the top. Hold on, here we go. Why is it? It's getting, I'm getting a little stuck there. Hold on, I'm here. There we go. No, it's being, it's not being cooperative. Let me see if I can grab another one here. Of course, while I'm doing a video, that's, that's the time when you have a little issue with your snail. Here we go. Okay, so, no, maybe it's just me. <laughs> I think it is me. What's going on here? Or maybe it's this board I'm on. I don't normally, um, there. 
So we're just gonna do a little at the top, and here's the reason why, is I wanna be able to, um, to line these up and yet also give myself some what I'll call wiggle room. So I'll get this up here so you guys can see. So I'm gonna start in the corner. Okay, so now I'm only just kind of pressing down just a little bit there because if we need to um, rearrange slightly, then I don't have to pick up the whole thing. I only have to pick up the top there. So you wanna leave yourself some minor spacing in between you can so you can see that there's a little black there. Maybe I'll try to come in a little bit for you guys. No, nope, it's not gonna do that. There we go. I'll bring it up. So see how there's just a little bit of spacing there? So let's get that on. So the reason I do that, like I said, is I may get to the end and I may either have just a little bit too much or a little bit not enough um, room for it. So I'm not gonna do this whole thing in front of you, but I'm gonna do enough to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. There we go. And then with the black keys, you wanna get, get out your mini Stampin' Dimensionals. They work perfectly. So once I get this all done and I'm like, yep, that's perfect, the spacing is really nice, I usually come in with a glue dot and just pop a glue dot underneath each one of those because that's just easier to go, all right? Okay, then, okay, here's your other keys. And I had my minis here. So I do go ahead and put two on, and I'm gonna do a few of these so you guys can see how a few of them come together. All right, because I know not everyone plays the piano, but you all know what a piano keyboard looks like, right? Okay, so let's pop these off. No, I didn't have everything quite ready today, but I figured you guys could be patient with me. Um, I'm still, if you um, know what happened to me, mm, gosh, about three weeks ago at Atlanta, I had a little mishap, and I'm still struggling with that. I, I start therapy tomorrow, so I still have quite a bit of pain in my, in my knee, so I have to... I've been only working half days, which means I don't get a lot of work done. Um, but we'll get there, we'll get there. So you can see how I'm putting these on. And then see, I'm not really happy with that one. I'm gonna take that one off. Actually, I'm gonna flip it maybe. Nope, it's still kind of sideways. So that's the only trouble with when you do the, um, with the punch. Sometimes if you don't make sure that it's parallel, yeah, those are nice. Those are coming in nice. Let me do a different one. So with the piano, we're doing the three white and then two black, and then you skip, and then you do three in a row like that, okay? And then you'll skip again, and then you'll do the last two. So that's how the keyboard comes together. So... I can always finish that up later. I'm going to show you how the, the sentiment. So the sentiment is going to stick under here like this. So we're going to put our adhesive right here. And basically, I want to center this. That looks pretty good right here. So that it, um, and I do want to make sure, even though I scored that, I want to make sure it can fold really nice. So I want to make, give that a nice fold. So it folds up and nice. And then you're going to adhere this to the inside of your card. Keep grabbing the wrong one, I think. There we go. I know, I'm giving it lots of adhesive. I'm not normally like that with my adhesive. So here we go. We're going to come back out a bit. I can. My phone keeps shutting. There we go. And then it'll just go down here like this. You could even have put this in here first if you wanted to. See, I can finish this up at any time. I'm going to flip that back, and it's going to go like this. And you'll do the decorating. I know. Isn't it cool? Are you guys excited? <laughs> 
So it lays flat here. This is how it goes. And you open it up and this flips forward. And that's your, your greeting. So I'll talk a little bit about how I decorated it. So the decorating comes from this ribbon. So this is the real red ribbon. It's just kind of more of a, um, a grow grain. It doesn't say on here. Oh, it's a cotton. It's a cotton. And um, so you want to give yourself quite a bit because I did tie it in the bow at the end. And then the flower and the leaf, they came from the set, the stamp, excuse me, the die set that matches the Forever Lovely. I think it's called um, Floral Flower, Lovely Flower Dies. So I just, um, I just took a couple of these dies to see which one I liked. And actually I liked working with this one. And then all I had to do was just trim out that outer edge here a little bit. And that, that was it. And then it comes with a leaf die as well. Add yourself some rhinestones. At, at one time I had a little cute little rhinestone there. And I have one next to the heart. So isn't that cute? What do you guys think? And it's not that hard, is it? Boy, I described that really fast. <laughs> so um, I'm going to love seeing your grand piano easel cards. Be sure to share them with me. And coming up soon, oh my gosh. So what are we? It's the 12th today. So we got about two and a half weeks and it's going to be January 3rd and that means it's going to be the mini occasion, oh, excuse me, I keep calling it the occasions catalog, but it's now the January through June mini catalog. So it starts January 3rd and it ends June 2nd. Okay, so that's how the new one is coming. And if you're a customer of mine, you probably are going to be receiving yours in the mail any day now, along with Celebration. So Celebration will start the same time, January 2nd, but it ends on March 31st. All right. Now, there's something super special going on for Celebration. I'm so excited about it. So our starter kit is $99 always $99 and you get to choose $125 worth of Stampin' Up! product. That's the way our starter kit always is. But a couple times a year Stampin' Up! adds some bonuses. So during celebration there's some awesome bonuses. So one thing is you get to choose an additional stamp set, any stamp set other than anything in celebration. You can choose it out of here or you can choose it out of the, that, excuse me, the annual catalog. So let's see. What else can I tell you about that is one more thing. <laughs> is, I haven't even opened mine. I just got it. So as a bonus, um, new recruits during celebration also will receive, if I can get it open, this cute little mini trimmer and a sampler of designer series paper. So let's take a look at it together. Oh, dang, how cute is that? That's adorable. So like, here's my hand. So here's how big it is. This is perfect, like especially if you're a scrapbooker and it is a guillotine style. Oh man, this is cute. And I can see also, there's probably a little bit of film here. Oh yeah, that you would wanna peel off, okay? So it's just on a protecting it for shipping purposes is all, all right? So, oh my gosh, I'm glad I got it. So it, demonstrators right now can purchase this. It actually is in, comes with a bundle with designer series paper. And then come January 3rd, when um, if you wanna join during the celebration, you can get it for free. All right, so let me open up this thing. This is a sampler pack that also is part of the bonus. So this is some of the designer series papers that are in the, excuse me, bear with me here. 
in the, oh gosh, I don't know why I can't, I'm still struggling with that, January through June mini catalog. So what do we got here? We've got one, two, three, and, and four. Hmm. Let's see. I think we've got a variety of things here. Five, six. I'm not sure what we have. I should have looked at it closer. I was, oh, yes, yes, yes. I get it now. These two pieces are from, oh my gosh, these are so cute. The birthday bonanza. And so you're getting two sheets from each of the demons, the designer series paper that are in here. So normally there's six sheets, but this is just a sample. This is like a little peek. And it also gives you a chance to um, have some paper without breaking the bank. Um, but again, this is for new recruits, or if you wanna join during December, you can buy this right now. Okay, and then this is the other side of this birthday bonanza one. Cute. So there's all, there's our new tropical one. Ooh, I love this kind of bamboo-y sort of look. And then we've got some of the, ooh, let's see, this is the clubhouse. And this, there should be another one. Is this, no, there's a poppy. Look at me. I'm so disorganized. Oh, this is the, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. This is the poppy one. I think this might be the dressed. Yeah, this is, must be the best dress one. And this it looks like it's, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It looks like the water lily one. How cute. So we got some great papers coming out. You guys are totally want to um, not only see them, but you're going to want to get them. They're awesome. So um, if you want to join with me, I would love that. You can contact me at dostamping at yahoo.com or feel free to text me. No, that one, no, you can text me through that. You can contact me through Facebook, obviously. Um, you can go to my Stampin' Up page, um, my website at dostampingwithdawn.com, and I've got a link for um, how to contact me. Or if you want to shop with me this month, wasn't that great? The free shipping sell, um, special that was going on. Woohoo! Um, oh, Ethel is asking, do you have a paper share of celebration paper? So that's, first of all, that's a really good question. I will be doing um, product shares again um, for this catalog. I do them with every catalog. And um, I'm going to be posting that information really quick. I'm hoping um, tomorrow or Saturday at the latest. And I will have like an I want it all. And with the I want it all, it will be a bonus, what I call the early bird bonus. If you sign up early, reserve early, and pay on time, then you will get a sampler of the two pieces, um, the two, excuse me, uh, designer series papers that are in celebration. Yes, there's two. They're awesome. So um, you will get just a teeny little sampler of that. But normally, um, there's a paper sampler that will have all six sheets of all the paper um, in the, the mini catalog. It will have an assortment of all, almost all the embellishments that can be divided up properly. And then it'll have an assortment of ribbon as well. So look for that coming soon. You're going to love it. All right? Um, and of course, if you shop with me, you probably know this, but if you're new to me, everyone who shops with me always gets a sweet tutorial from me um, with their thank you um, email. And this month, it's Pressed Petals Sweet. And let me tell you, the samples in there are really cute. So that's any size order. And then with a $50 order, you can start redeeming or earning um, rewards points with me. And for... Um, Every star, you, it's a star that you'll get for a $50 or a, if you have a $100, then you'll get two stars and so on. And you can redeem them once you've collected 10 stars within a year. You can redeem them with me for free product. 
And then lastly, if you have a $65 or more and use my host code when you're ordering online, you will qualify for this month's host code gift, which is the faceted dots in color, the new in colors for this year. So if if you have questions about anything else, just let me know. You can leave the comments also within um, the video here today. I always, I look at all my comments and I try to answer everything that I hopefully catch. Okay, well, let's see. I think it's time to say goodnight. And you guys, um, you're probably prepping for your holidays. So good luck with that. And we'll see you next time. All right, goodnight.